All right. Oh, looks like we're going to have two crows to contend with. So, if crow zero watching return no, if crow one is watching return no. So, in your safe function, you can have um, a list of things. Uh, you know, once it gets to a return, um, it will, of course, stop comparing and run whatever's here. So when we put if in front of what we're looking at, um, and you, of course, could change that to be um, not having not watching, but we're just going to leave this like this. So we're going to use our safe here. Um, and basically we know we are waiting until the condition safe is returned with a yes or a true. We're going to wait. Um, so we could use wait. But because we have the crows, we know we have to scare them away. Because if we just wait, they're not going to do anything. So we need to say something. Um, I'm going to say boo. And then we do not want inside there. Then we're just going to plain old go to the banana. So make sure your go to is not inside your until conditional loop. Those crows always make me jump. As you know, two stars is enough for you to be permitted to move on to the next one. If you would like to see how we can do this with um, fewer lines of code, keep watching and I'll show you. But it is not required. So when I come back in, so they set this up here um, to have us practice and to have us see that we could have a variety of things in our list. Remember, once you get to a return, so if Crow Zero was watching, so once we get to a place where we're going to return, um, then we move on. So what we want to do is just change this to the way we have it written. Um, but they wrote it like this just so that you could see. And I'm going to go make sure I've got my... So we want to return. Start right there. So we're not going to put anything other. Crow zero watching so not that one and not i can't forget the not um crow one watching so safe will return as true when the crows are not watching that's how we could do this in six lines or fewer. Obviously, I could get rid of this line too. Um, sometimes it's just nice to have space in your code to allow you to separate out what you're doing, but this would get you a three-star solution.